Hello everybody, welcome to Set Matrix. My name is Basil and today I am going to talk about NBA accreditation and why one should join top NBA accredited program. In the previous video, I talk about NAC accreditation and its benefit for the students. As most of you might know, NAC and NBA are the two major accreditors in India for the higher education. As most of you might know, NAC accredits colleges and universities, while NBA accredits programs such as management programs, technology programs, engineering programs, pharmacy programs, and even the hospitality programs. Furthermore, NBA is also a full member of Washington Accord. Now let's see the brief history of uh, NBA. NBA uh, along with NAC was established in the year 1994 and it's gained its full autonomy in the year 2010. Furthermore, it became a member of Washington Accord in the year 2014. NBA mostly accredits diploma, undergraduate and postgraduate programs. The main function of NBA is to accredit the uh, to assess the performance of a specific program such as uh, BE in Computer Sciences or BTEC in Mechanical Engineering or MBA or B Diploma in Finance and uh, uh, later then later issue a quality assurance certificate to the particular program or based on this NBA standard quality criteria. Mostly NBA accredits the uh, in college and its program on mission and mission statement, uh, the faculty contribution, the program outcomes, the course outcomes the student performance, uh, the teaching learning process, the laboratories and even the library. NBA certification for Tier 1 engineering program is recognized in more than 20 countries who are member of Washington Accord. Now if you want to know what, what exactly is Washington Accord, so Washington Accord is an international accreditation agreement signed between 20 countries including USA, UK, Australia, Canada and New Zealand. Based on this Accord, the students uh, from uh, Tier 1 Academy uh, College can get the documents evaluated for Indian license in other countries. Uh, furthermore, based on NBA accreditation, uh, the institutions even can apply for AICT funds, uh, the deemed university status, uh, the autonomous college status, and even apply for research projects. Now, let's see how NBA accreditation can help the students. If a college or higher education institution is NBA accredited, then it is implied that that college is subscribing to high quality infrastructure, good teachers and even has good laboratories. Graduating from top and be accredited college will help you in better recognition from employers as well as organizations for employment and research purpose. Furthermore, graduating from uh, top uh, tier 1 accredited college or uh, institution increases your chance of getting campus placement by many folds. Even more, if you plan to pursue your higher education in engineering in other countries like uh, USC, UK, or Australia or New Zealand, then getting admission in uh, Tarab University is quite easy as NBA is a member of Washington Accord. Now comes the big question of selecting NBA accredited college. If you plan to join any engineering program or pharmacy program or MBA uh, program, then you can see the accreditation status of a particular institution and the particular program by visiting the NBA website. NBA usually classifies the engineering program or the institution in two categories. The, the first is Tier 1 category, which is a member of Washington Accord, while the Tier 2 is, uh, is not a member of Washington Accord. Furthermore, there are a few more classifications like management, pharmacy, MCA, architecture, and hospitality. One can search uh, the program or the institution by going to the NBA dashboard. The dashboard will also give the result of the number of programs accredited for the particular college and even the accreditation cycle. Uh, you should also keep in mind that NBA doesn't accredit the entire college or the institution. Instead, it only accredits program. So you should see the list of programs uh, accredited with the particular institution. Because most is, uh, it will happen that a particular institution will have, uh, if a particular institution has 8 to 10 programs and uh, it might have only four programs which are NBA accredited while the rest of the programs are not. So uh, while applying or while searching you should also keep in mind to see the list of programs accredited by NBA. So guys this is a brief about NBA accreditation and I hope you like this video and if you like this video please, pl please click the like and share button and do share your thoughts in the comment section and if you like, if you like my work do support me by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Stay blessed.